As far as we know, the Earth is the only planet that has life, but it has a lot of life. We humans have discovered about 1.3 million species, which is quite a lot, but it is estimated that there are 8.7 million species on this planet. This means that we've only discovered 15% of life on Earth. 91% of ocean species have not been discovered, and 86% of terrestrial species have not been discovered. The world is big, and 8.7 million is a hard number to comprehend, so a good question to ask is, what do we see if we look at just one cubic foot of space for 24 hours anywhere in the world? The Duck River in Tennessee is our first stop. Alan Huffman remarked about the river, dig a few handfuls of sediment from the bottom, and the river's significance begins to reveal itself. Half of what you hold in your hands is sand and gravel, and the rest is live species, mussels, snails, juvenile cranefish, the larvae of stoneflies and dragonflies. What he said really rings true to their findings. 32 species of fish and nearly 100 other species of animalia were observed passing through this location in just a 24 hour period. One cubic foot of suspended airspace was observed in a Costa Rican rainforest. 145 species of birds, mammals, mosses, insects, and plants made their way through this tiny airspace. One cubic foot in a coral reef near Tahiti recorded 600 individual organisms, more than a millimeter in size, living solely and permanently in that one foot of space and thousands of different plants and animals floated through that area every hour. Table Mountain National Park in South Africa observed 30 plant species and 70 different insect species. Crazily, when this cube was moved as little as 10 feet in any direction, 50% of the species that were observed stayed the same and 50% changed. This experiment is a clear example of biodiversity that we see on this planet. But life is everywhere, and anyone can observe it. Right now you're looking at some of the animals that we have witnessed around the United States in just the last year. No matter where you are in the world, you have the opportunity to experience the diversity of life. It's just a matter of being aware and looking for it. Aside from this biodiversity being inherently interesting to see, it is also ecologically and medically important. On the ecology side of things, evidence has shown that the higher the biodiversity of a location, the more ecologically stable it is. On the medical side of things, biodiversity and the discovery of new species directly leads to the discovery of medicines. Aspirin is salicyclic acid, which comes from willow trees, and the opium poppy is the source of morphine and codeine used today. This video was made for Biology Everywhere, a book that explores biology in our day-to-day -day lives. If you found this video interesting, I would recommend ordering using the link below.